Hi guys, Mantas here, and today I will show you how to add FAQ rich snippet structured data into your website. So this may be applied to your HTML website, to your WordPress website, any website you want. So I'm gonna quickly show you what we're gonna add here and how it's gonna look on search results. So let's say I'm gonna write something like how much it cost most expensive Canon camera. And here we are. We got some shopping ads. As you can see, this is sponsored. We got some open graph data and we got another box with FAQ data. This is what I'm gonna show you how to implement, how to show search engine this answer is on your website. So if you're watching first video, if you are first time on my channel, please subscribe and be notified when my next video comes out. So you can add variety of data in this FAQ rich snippets structure. What people asking, they want just to get answers. There is a benefit of doing so and the, there is a downside of it. Basically, if someone enters particular phrase and sees that FAQ, you know, table and they're gonna click on some of these, so they may get straight answer and they may not go through your website. But still some of them will go. And by adding that rich, this rich snippet structure data increases your chances to come visitors to a website. How can you use this for your own benefit? Let's say if you are doing e-commerce, you're, you're selling something, some products on your website. So you could add specific FAQ page and add additional data about your brand or business. So for, a, for the sake of example, I'm gonna look for, let's say Amazon FAQ or what search engines pulls about Amazon. So relative question would be how, or let's say how long it takes for, for Amazon to refund, to refund, let's say. And straight away we can see, this is from Amazon help customers. All right, so within 30 days you can get your refund, but there are additional, additional FAQ. Why have I not received my refund from Amazon? How do I get my refund from Amazon and other questions? Let's look at one more example. Let's say Clickbank course. I just want to pull out something about internet marketing. Oh, I made a mistake. Clickbank course. All right. So again, Udemy paid ad and videos pulled out of YouTube and we're going forwards, forwards, forwards and here we are ebackers.com so as we can see this website got FAQ data plus rating so questions how can I promote Clickbank products is Clickbank a legitimate company how do you make money from Clickbank? Can you really make money with Clickbank? What is Clickbank? Well, this guy is a little bit keyword stuffing, but it doesn't matter. In a time if someone adds more FAQ data about Clickbank, it may disappear from search. Well, as you can see, it doesn't show some of the results on the top but some still appearing on the first page. So that's not bad as well. Uh, so now 
I have gone through all of that Google explanation about rich snippets again. Just want to make sure I'm not, you know, misleading you about everything. So, actually, Google just stated you can't manipulate results. I mean, you can add that data, FAQ data, or, you know, review rating data or other micro data, but it doesn't really have to show these results. Google just decides what is important and what is not. And you have to follow all the content guidelines because Google start depreciating your content and, you know, not ranking you in search results at all these pages you have on your site. Here is that excerpt I just want to show you. How can I mark my page as featured snippet? You can't. Google system determines whether a page would make a good featured snippet for a user search request. And if so, elevates it. So, Google suggests you to write compelling headlines to add a good content, to create a good content, and Google automatically can pull that data and show. But in this way, now what we want to do, we want to you know, push a little bit further for our website to stand out. If no one is adding these FAQ data snippets, structured data on website, this is like a mark we're just trying to mark around our content. If no one is doing that, and if we, we alone doing it, so most likely our content should stand out in this search, you know. By the way, Google states so, a frequently asked question FAQ page contains a list of questions and answers pertaining to a particular topic properly marked up FAQ pages may be eligible to have a rich result on a search and an action on the Google Assistant, which can help your site to reach the right users. So, what does it mean? Google Assistant is used on all mobile phones which runs Android and as well Google Home device which is like Amazon Alexa. So that means everyone who uses voice search may find your content if that's optimized properly and you know the content is good proper content. In order to add that FAQ data, I've gone through the page on Google official site on how to do structured data of FAQ and there is even sample code. But I've just pulled out everything in my TXT file and there is a like a blank template. So I'm gonna just have to fill in this file and it's not hard i mean everywhere you have to add a question so there is a written between quotes insert question and where is the answer so insert insert answer and you can copy these blocks copy paste or you can delete them if it's too much for you because you can't leave them blank and if i don't want any block I'm using Notepad++, so it will easy mark my syntax. So I can, let's say this one, I can delete. Another one, let's say, I can delete as well. And there's going to be, let's say, only three questions here. I'm going to leave this old script onto my website so go there i'm gonna highlight that link so you can easy download it now i'm gonna try to fill in all of this script with my own data from a blog post which is not optimized for faq rich snippets yet and i'm gonna do it quickly and we'll come back as i said it is not hard to do it I'm just, just gonna grab my one of my headlines. So what is a rich snippet? 
So this is a logical question which may end up seen on the Google search. I'm going to go to my file and where is the insert question here between quarters. You have to leave quarters but between quarters highlight the insert question text here and paste that in. What is a rich snippet? And you, you now have to answer that question. So highlight insert answer here. Go back to your website. Copy piece of text. Go back to the file again and paste it here. And fill in all of your questions, questions and answers up to 10 for one post. I have finished filling my file. So now script is ready and hopefully everything is going to be all right. I'm just going to grab that code, copy it and going to go to your, my website. I'm going to launch my Thrive Architect because that's my page builder. But if you are using WordPress Classic Editor or WordPress Gutenberg, on Classic Editor you have to go into your HTML mode and paste your code in there and in Gutenberg you can add HTML block and paste your code in there. So I'm gonna quickly view my page source. Oh, I'm gonna go into settings, page source. I'm gonna just quickly click enter, add that code, click all right and I'm gonna save my settings. And guys, don't forget to update your blog post after adding the code. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. So the post is ready. I'm gonna view that post. I'm gonna grab link of that post and run the test. And as you can see, we got now another structured data of FAQ. FAQ page, question, answer. And as you can see, everything works fine now. And if you want for Google to quickly pick this up, so you can go into your Google Webmaster Tools, pull out that link which is now with FAQ data and request to re-index that link because there is a new fresh content and Google will automatically re-index that content and pull out that data quickly. So I hope you guys like this video. If you got any value, click like button. Leave your comments in the comment section and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.